Welcome to Castle Coombe for the A1 Tyres National Formula Ford 1600 Championship. Surprise, surprise, Championship leader Niall Murray is once again on pole position. To take you through the exciting action, it's over to Scott Woodruff. Thank you, Lloyd. And as the cars line up for race one, here is the grid with that man Niall Murray on pole alongside Jamie Thorburn, then Michael Eastwell and Luke Cooper ahead of Nico Gruber and Matt Round Garrido. Rory Smith and Hugo Bentley Ellis line up on row four ahead of Carter Williams and Felix Fisher. Jonathan Brown and Jack Wolfenden line up on row six ahead of a lowly Joe Foster in 13th place from David MacArthur. Then Thomas Capazone and Roger Orgy, Sebastian Job and James Clark. Then Richard Morris, Vincent J, and Davide Maloney. 21 cars set for 15 minutes around the 1.85 mile Castle Coombe circuit here in Wiltshire. The sun is pretty low in the sky. It's getting later in the Saturday afternoon, but we're all set for the first race of the weekend. 15 minutes of four and a forward action. Castle Coombe always delivers. Will it do the same here? Lights out. We go racing in Wiltshire. Good start from Murray off the front row of the grid. And it looks to be as if it's second place for Jamie Thorburn. Slots in behind the Irishman. Third has gone to Michael Eastwell. They pour off the line together. All of them are off the line in a pack through the right-hander at Folly. They go on board with Sebastian Job. That's his view up towards Avon Rise. And now to one of the trickiest corners of British motorsport. Quarry. It's a fast approach. You come over the crest. But everyone appears to be getting through pretty much trouble-free. Jack Wilford and battling with Joey Foster. He's looking to make places up from 13th on the grid. Into the S's for the first time then. Right, left, right. And it's Murray who leads from Thorburn. Eastwell, then Cooper, round Garrido. Then it's seventh place for Nico Gruber. And there's David McCarthy in the white and yellow car in the middle of the pack. His first appearance in the national championship this year. Good to have him in the field. And here's a fight that's already started to brew early on between Luke Cooper is the leader in the Castle Coombe form of the Ford Championship. He's already had a race victory at some point today. So he knows this circuit like the back of his hand. Anything he doesn't know about Castle Coombe, quite frankly, isn't worth knowing. A Sebastian Job rocks over the curbs at Bobby's. It's still Noel Murray that leads it. No change. Here comes Bentley Ellis having a look at Nico Gruber. They turn in towards the S's. Bumps over the curb and it's Cooper Spins. A complete 360. Ram Garina goes charging over the grass, but he rejoins. Cars scatter everywhere. And Luke Cooper tumbles down to the bottom of the top 10. And Nico Gruber's off the road as well. They're all giving melee down towards Tower Corner. And somehow, Hugo Bentley Ellis has come out on top of it. What on earth is happening? I think Nico Gruber possibly went across the grass to avoid just the traffic jam that was in front of him down towards Tower Corner. And these three are completely oblivious to it because it's now Murray from Thorburn, from Eastwell, then the freight train for fourth, but it's Matt Round Garrido in P4. From, well, he's in P5 actually because it's, it's Hugo Betley Ellis in fourth place, then it's Round Garrido, then Carter Williams. Here's the replay, and it's Cooper bumps the curb on the, the apex of the second part of the S's, a complete 360. Round Garrido, very lucky not to lose the back of the car over the grass, kicks mud and dirt all across the circuit, but somehow they both live to fight another day. What an extraordinary sequence. And this is now on board with Sebastian Job, and he's attacking David, David MacArthur here. So, Sebastian Job, the scholarship winner from the end of last year in his first season of single-seater racing, first year of racing full stop. And he's about to show us a little bit of racecraft as we look back to the battle for eighth and then tenth positions. Meanwhile, back at the front of the field, we've almost forgotten about these three, but uh, they're at such a world of their own as Thorburn runs a little bit wide. They come across the line and uh, that's not really a sight you want to see, is it? Last lap, because it's been such a great race, you don't really want it to end. So, now Murray then holds on to the lead. We're back on board with Sebastian Job. Up through Camp Corner. And is there a chance here to get past David MacArthur? Runs a little wide on the exit of Camp Corner. Job's mental was a little bit better. Now they come through Folly. He's pulling alongside. Can he possibly get himself into position to make a move up towards Quarry? As the leaders come back in towards the S's for the final time. And Murray runs a little bit wide. Oh, Murray's onto the grass. Murray goes over the grass, bounces across onto the track. Well, that's very unlike Noel Murray. He really is pushing. And that really has brought both no uh, Jamie Thorburn and Michael Eastwell back into play with half a lap to go. So a small lapse in concentration from Noel Murray. And it's not done and dusted yet. He's still got one more sequence of corners to go. Through Bobby's and then through Cap Corner. And Jamie Thorburn's right there. Wide again from Murray over the curbs. 
So he's led practically from lights to flag. He's got one more corner to go, but is Thorburn going to make a last minute attack? Eastwell watches on. Thorburn puts himself in his mirrors, but he can't do anything about it. And now in the final corner and onto the pit straight, Niall Murray takes the checkered flag and wins the first national Formula Ford race here at Castle Coombe. It is Thorburn second, Eastwell third. Hugo Bentley Ellis does beat Matt Rangarini to the line for fourth and fifth places, respectively. Joey Foster gets sixth ahead of Carter Williams in seventh, then Luke Cooper recovering to eighth ahead of Felix Fisher and Rory Smith. Jonathan Brown and Nico Gruber in 11th and 12th places from Jack Wolfenden, Sebastian Job, James Clark, David MacArthur, Richard Morris, David A. Maloney and Vincent J. Roger Orgy and Thomas Capazone retired early on. A fastest lap from that man Cooper. A brilliant opening race here at Castle Coombe and here is Lloyd with the top three on the podium. Well, fantastic race, really close out there and extending the lead in the championship. Yeah, yeah, I uh, can't, you know, I can't, can't have asked for any more. Um, another thousand of a second on my on my fast lap, and I would have got that too. Uh, unfortunately, Luke got the fast lap in the last lap, but yeah, no, really, really happy. Um, just about broke the toe from Jamie after halfway through, and managed to get the head down, did a couple of couple of nine eights um, on my own. So I was yeah, I was very happy with the pace. Jamie, really close racing. Congratulations on your podium. But what can you do tomorrow to get past Niall? Yeah, yesterday was really good. We had some mega pace in the car. I just made one wee mistake on the second last lap and that let him get the gap. And if I hadn't made that mistake, maybe when he ran wide, I could have snuck through for the win. But considering we had a bit of a disaster here last year and have never been back since, the turnaround in the car has been phenomenal. And we've had really good pace all weekend. We're getting a bit quicker and quicker every time. So hopefully, again, we'll just stick with him in the early laps, pull a little bit of a gap like we've done yesterday and then kind of put them under some pressure at the end but again it's just about trying to bring it home for some points because we had a disaster at Kirkustown when we got wiped out with three podium places and uh, yeah this weekend's just about finishing getting some momentum back and then race three obviously is reverse grid so if we can if we don't make a good start and get stuck in a battle if we can stay top six then that's pretty much the main aim as well. Michael congratulations on your third place but with the heat here at Castle Coombe this weekend that must be playing havoc with the car. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, we're definitely sort of at the end of the temperature range, the ideal, the ideal temperature range. But uh, no, it was a good race, really good race for us yesterday, thanks. And uh, hopefully looking to repeat a good result today. And yeah, I mean, we're starting in a good position, so fingers crossed. Drivers and cars are getting ready to go out for the second of the A1 tyres and National Formula Ford 1600 Championship races here at Castle Coombe. The sun is beating down on the track and that's going to cause some problems because look at this. This is the radiator entrance. There's no fan inside. These cars are cooled down purely by forward motion. So the drivers have to be very careful to manage the heat, manage the temperatures in the cars, manage the tires and the brakes. It's going to be a real test of skill to see how they get on. Over to our commentary team to take you through the race. As the cars make their way to the grid in a very warm Castle Coombe on Sunday morning, this is how they line up with Niall Murray and Jamie Thorburn on the front row of the grid together, then Michael Eastwell and Hugo Bentley Ellis, Matt Round Garrido and Joey Foster, followed by Carter Williams and Luke Cooper, then Felix Fisher and Rory Smith complete the top 10 ahead of Jonathan Brown and Nico Gruber. Jack Wolfenden back in 13th alongside Sebastian Job, then James Clark and David MacArthur from Richard Morris and David A. Maloney, then Vincent J, Roger Orgy and Thomas Capazone in car 21 once again at the back of the grid. So considerably warmer conditions than it was for race one and as Lloyd said the tyre and brake temperatures are going to be very very difficult to keep in the optimum range particularly with such high temperatures in the air and on the track you can see the heat haze as they get prepared for the second race of the weekend here at Castle Coombe as they get underway Nard Murray on the left and it's Jamie Thorburn on the right who immediately slots back in behind Murray as he did at the start of race one. Eastwell is up to third off the line and it's already side by side for fourth between Matt Brown Garrido and Hugo Bentley Ellis. Luke Cooper's also looking to try and make up some lost ground as they charge up through Foley and Avon Rice. We go on board with Sebastian Job as again they charge into Quarry and it is side by side for third place again as Matt Brown Garrido fancies the outside line on the exit. Now the run down towards the S's, they all pile through, they all seem to have got through relatively unscathed. Niall Murray in the 1999 Van Diemen turns his way through the S's, now through the old paddock bend. It's Murray from Thorburn, then Matt Round Garrido, who has remained in third place for the time being. We go back on board with Sebastian Job, bumping over the curbs, now through Hammer Down towards Tower Bend. Turn their way through the right hand. Matt Round Garrido in a slightly better position than he was at the start of race one. He was back in fifth in the opening laps, but he's now up there in a podium position already. 
He would dearly love to get up there and battle with his teammate, Noel Murray. But he has got a very racy Jamie Thorburn to get around to take second place. Leaders down towards Camp Corner for the end of the first lap. Here's a battle developing with Hugo Bentley. Yeah, this is wide goes Thorburn on the exit of Camp Corner. And that could put him under massive pressure for Matt Rancarido. They charge through. And indeed it has because Matt Rancarido is now side by side. It sweeps in front of Jamie Thorburn just before they get to Avon Rise. Murray continues to lead, but it's now brought Michael Eastwell into play now in fourth position. So the white and blue car in the mix. And behind them, it's action stations between Joey Foster and Luke Cooper, who is now defending from Hugo Bentley Ellis down towards the S's. So already we're just barely a lap into the race, and there's action all the way down the field. Nile Murray looking to try and break away in these early stages. Two cars off in the background. One of them was Jonathan Brown. The other one is Rory Smith off in the background. So his race has taken a nosedive very quickly indeed. And they turn into Tower again for the second time. And Nile Murray just starting to break away a little bit here as they turn back into Bobby's. He's got a small advantage. He's just allowing the cars behind to scrap amongst themselves. And that will allow him to get away. And he would dearly love to take another step towards claiming a hat-trick. The first driver this season to claim one because no one's won all three races in a weekend so far. I'm sure that Noel would dearly love to do so and that would really increase his chances of picking up a second national title and a third Mazda Road to Indy ticket in a row. There's two more drivers that are battling for that place as well. Jamie Thorburn and Michael Eastwell. It's also side by side between Hugo Bentley Ellis and Luke Cooper and Cooper has got through ahead of Bentley Ellis. Back up towards this as they still haven't finished yet because Bentley Ellis is forced to the inside line by Cooper. See if he can squeeze through on the exit of the S's and the answer is no, he has to drop back. For a pass anytime soon because he's in striking distance. They come back into camp corner again through the right hander and onto the pit straight back across to end the lap. He's looking very close. He's going to pick his moment here. He's on the last lap of the race. Eastwell looks to the inside line. This will be for Avon Rice, but it'll be the outside line for Crow. They almost bang wheels again. It is side by side into the braking zone. They're almost touching. They're turning together. Round Garita holds the inside line. Eastwell on the outside, on the exit of the corner. They touch wheels and Eastwell goes around. Off goes Michael Eastwell, spinning onto the infield. Well, that was a close one. I don't really want to call it because I'm not a steward or a clerk of the course, but it looked 50-50 to me. Here's the replay. Now, Eastwell holds the outside line. Round Garita has to go out wide as much as he can. He can't go much further. That looks 50-50 to me, but we'll have to wait and see what the stewards say. I don't want to say it was one blame or the other because both of them held their line. They just drifted into each other. So I can't really see blame being apportioned to one more than the other, but Eastwell will feel very aggrieved. And the fight for second's not over yet. That could change between Rancorino and Luke Cooper, but no change for the race winner. Noel Murray with a perfect lights to flag victory. He makes it two from two at Castle Coombe. And the fight for second goes right down to a line. And it's going to be Matt Brown Garidi who will hold on to second place. Cooper gets third. Betty Ellis gets fourth from Foster and Eastwell. Then Carter Williams, Nico Gruber, Felix Fisher and Jonathan Brown. Roger Orgy secures 11th place from David MacArthur, James Clark, Thomas Capazone, Rory Smith, Richard Morris, Vincent J and Davide Maloney. With Job, Wolfenden and Thorburn, the non finishes. And Lloyd, what an exhausting second race. They've got one more to go, but I'm sure you've got three very happy but very tired and very exhausted drivers down on the podium. Well, great start and a lot of pressure through that race, though. Yeah, a lot of pressure in kind of the first half of the race. Um, Matt somehow got into second after like lap or two or three and I could see him catching me. Um, and yeah, just I, I, I thought I was clear at that stage when he was in second because uh, you know he, he would have been battling, but... He was catching me in the toe, obviously, and, and then I yeah I thought it was going to be going to be uh, struggling there for the rest of the race, and thankfully he made one or two mistakes and just managed to break the toe, and you know I just got into a bit of a rhythm there, and then a couple of fast laps. The reverse grid for race three sees Nico Gruber on pole position alongside Carter Williams for the first time on the front row, followed by Michael Eastwell and Joey Foster from Hugo Bentley Ellis and Luke Cooper. The Team Dolan duo of Matt Rangarido and Nal Murray back on row four with Felix Fisher and Jonathan Brown completing the top ten. 
Roger Orkey starts 11th alongside David MacArthur, then James Clark and Thomas Capazone on row 7, from Rory Smith and Richard Morris on row 8, then Vincent Jay and David Maloney on row 9, then Sebastian Job, Jack Wolfenden and Jamie Thorburn starting at the back of the grid after his race to retirement. So a first ever pole for Nico Gruber, a first front row start for Carter Williams. Can either of them get themselves a podium or the race win? Or will the usual suspects be back at the front? We're all set for the final 15 minutes of the weekend as we go racing at Castle Coombe one more time. Good start from the front row. Gruber's got the better launch over Williams. Williams slots into second place. Eastwell is into third. Foster's fourth from Bentley Ellis, and already Matt Rangarina looking to try and go wheel to wheel with Luke Cooper. Oh, and Sebastian Job getting in amongst it already. That's Jack Wolford that's gone through. He's side by side with Richard Morris, through Avon Rice into Quarry, and it is still Nico Gruber who has the whole shot. Williams in second place, but he is under pressure in the opening seconds. I think that's Vincent Jay in the background going off wide on the exit of Quarry into the S's. Gruber leads. Then it's Williams, Eastwell, Foster, Bentley Ellis. Murray and then side by side between Matt Ram Garrido and Luke Cooper out of Old Paddock Bend through the kink of Hammerdown and up towards Tower Bend and already Eastwell defending the inside line from Joey Foster Cooper's also under threat from both looks to be Felix Fisher and Jonathan Brown as they went side by side into the right hander but Nico Gruber as he heads out of Bobby's he's trying to pull away a small gap here in this opening lap so the young Austrian karting graduate is certainly taking to Formula Fords lap by lap, race by race as the battle goes on between Brown, Fisher and Orgy. But it's Nico Gruber who leads the way at the end of the first lap. There's a change on for second place as Eastwell's got a super run from Camp Corner. He's now looking to the outside of Carter Williams for Avon Rice, but it'll be the inside line for Quarry. Look at them all together. Foster's in there. I bet the Ellis is in there. So is also Noel Murray. They turn in together. And Eastwell holds on to second place for the time being. So no change just yet. But Foster is on the attack. And Carter Williams then is down to fourth position. He's lost out to Joey Foster. And bet the Ellis is there in the mix. Ram Garrido, Murray, Cooper. Jonathan Brown running well in ninth place. The young Irishman, one of the three Cliff Dempsey cars in the field. No Neil McLennan this weekend. And behind, he's still going into combat with Roger Orgy. And Roger's another Castle Coon regular, so he knows his place intricately well. Up into Bobby's again for the second time. Look at the leading group line astern. Gruber absorbing all this pressure early on, but it's a question of how long he can absorb it before he finally cracks. Well, Rangarina's not hanging around. He's on the back of Bentley Ellis, yeah, staring at the exhaust of the Spectrum as they come back through Camp Corner to start that three. Team's watching on from the pit wall. And here comes Eastwell and Foster. They're in the slipstream. And Eastwell's making his move now. He looks towards the inside for Avon Rise as we go back up with Sebastian Job. Look at the melee he's part of. It's got Capazone to his left, Wolfen to his right, but in the, in, the, in the middle in front of them, it is Michael Eastwell who leads. So Eastwell takes the lead into Quarry Corner. It could be second place for Foster as we go back on board with Sebastian Job. There's a three-car scrap going on in front of him. He wants to try and be a part of that if he can. But now for second place, and Foster is on the move here. He's on side by side with Gruber and he has got through. And Gruber can lose more places because here comes Williams and the charging Noel Murray in fifth position. Williams looks to the inside line of Gruber, but he hasn't accounted for Murray, who goes sailing round the outside at Tower Corner. What a move from Noel Murray to go up to fourth place. He completely caught Carter Williams totally by surprise. He was so focused on attacking Nico Gruber, he didn't see Noel Murray just charging down the outside. Nico Gruber, he's now going to try and attack for fourth place. And Murray, meanwhile, has caught Michael Eastwell in the lead. So it's Foster in third place now. Gruber fourth. Then Matt Rangarido is under attack from Williams. They head down towards Tower Bend altogether. Foster tries to go to the middle of the road, goes back to the racing line to defend from Gruber and a potential attack. And now here comes Rangarido and Williams. And just behind them, we've got Bentley Ellis fending off Luke Cooper. So Cooper's having a, I'd say, a less than satisfactory weekend. He was up there initially in the first race, then had the spin after he hit the curb. And since then, he's not really been on the same pace that he has possibly shown in the Castle Coon races. But speaking of on the pace, here comes Noel Murray. Look at this. This lap has been an absolute stormer. And here he comes. He's not waiting around. Going to the inside of Folly. It'll be the outside for Avon Rice. But if he can stay there, he'll be in the lead of the race up towards Quarry. They are side by side over the crest. And Murray's through. 
Murray sweeps around the outside over the crest to Avon Rise and gets it in front before he hits the brakes for Quarry. So from 8th to 1st, another masterclass through the field from championship leader Niall Murray. He's on an absolute flyer, and that is why he's not only a double festival champion, but the 2016 national champion as well. He's going for a second crown, and he's doing it exactly the right way. So, down towards Hammerdown. Murray now back in the lead, kicks up the dust. But look at the battle for third place. It's now Matt Rancarido is up to third place. Fourth now for Joey Foster. Fifth for Carter Williams. What's happened to Gruber? He's dropped back to sixth and several car lengths back. So has there been a bit of a skirmish earlier in the lap whilst we were watching the battle that was going on for the lead? I think there has been because Matt Brown Garrido has come out of that on top. So that's an interesting turn of events. And turn through the right-hander at Camp Corner. There's a bit of smoke coming from the back of Carter Williams' car. We'll look at that in a second because Matt Brown Garrido is under threat here. And Jack Wolfen is under threat from a charging Sebastian Job. But look at that. Easy as pie up the inside at Camp Corner. Great move from Sebastian Job. Continues to get quicker with every lap he drives. So around Garrido, Foster, Williams. Back on board with Sebastian Job. His next target is a couple of seconds up the road. Charges over the crest into Quarry. About half a lap to go now. And Eastwell is trying to throw everything at him. But even every time... He tries to make a move. Murray has got a response. So Murray out of Bobby's for the final time. Eastwell is closing as much as he can. But Niall Murray is about to do something that no one else has done this weekend. He truly is the king of Castle Coombe and he's proved it all weekend long. Out of the final corner. Murray does the hat trick at Castle Coombe. What a superb performance from start to finish. Eastwell gets second. Round Garrida makes it a double Dolan podium in third with Foster fourth. Then it's Hugo Bet the Ellis in fifth, Nico Gruber sixth, then Fisher, Smith, Thorburn, and Cooper rounding out the top ten. Clark is eleventh from Capazo, Job, Morris, Brown, Jay, and Maloney. And there are your retirements. What an incredible weekend in the sun at Castle Coombe and Lloyd. I'm sure you'll have three very happy drivers, including an ecstatic Nar Murray. He's done the hat trick. Well done. Now, not even a reverse grip can hold you back here at Castle Coombe this weekend. Congratulations on your victory. Yeah, just uh, lots, lots of pace this weekend. Um, again, thank, thanks a million to Bernard Dolan and you know Team Dolan, everyone, everyone in the team. Just got last to bed last night in the first up this morning, working on all three cars all weekend. They're just putting in so much effort, and um, they just don't stop. So, yeah, Damien Doherty on my car as well is you know work, working very hard. So. Um, you know, it's a testament to all the, all the results we have, it's a testament to all their work. Um, you know, myself and Matt won two in, in race two and then starting seventh and eighth and get, getting the first and third in, in the last race from the reverse grid. So, yeah, really happy. It was a really enjoyable race. Um, starting from eighth, obviously, had to, had to make a few moves, but yeah, no, delighted. Michael, second podium of the weekend. You must be pleased with that result. Yeah, I'm really pleased. Uh, it's a good result for the team uh, and myself. Um, the win would have been nice. Uh, obviously, we got into the lead uh, and started to pull a gap on the cars behind. And then all of a sudden, I, I, I saw a car, car come in, and I knew, I knew it was Niall. And his pace was just immense at the start. And as he got towards me, I, I just didn't put up much of a fight, to be honest. Our pace wasn't there. His pace was immense. I, uh, I was hoping that we would be able to follow him round and maybe get him at the, towards the end of the race. Uh, and the car was, the car was really good at the end of the race, but it took a while to come on.